walk along Denver's Colfax Street and find so much love. The street is known for its adoration for all. Yeah, the Gaberhead. Ross Johnson finds it fitting for a LGBTQ hair salon he and Ash Bowen consider safe. But what they say happened last week was quite the opposite of that. Yeah, definitely, especially when it was our opening day and Ross came into a very blatant hate crime on our brand new window decal. And it felt like it was targeted at us from our own community, which was even more stressful. On the salon's opening day, Bowen's business partner walked into this, a message that suggests trans people are child molesters. They believe it was written by a member of the queer community. It said specifically like gay pride is okay, but leave the trans out of it. Johnson found the graffiti. He immediately attempted to scrub it off, only realizing the damage was done in more ways than one. At first I was very angry, um, the anger kind of very quickly turned into sadness. Just down the block at the center on Colfax, anti-trans hate within the queer community is not new. CEO Rex Fuller knows. This is a dynamic I've heard of in the community. I do think it's a small group, but I'm always very upset when I hear people talk about members of our community that way. Some of our earliest leaders also were gender diverse. They were also trans. Sable Schultz, the center's director of transgender services says, on Colfax, there's no room for hate. Johnson and Bowen. Yeah, absolutely. Won't let this incident dampen a neighborhood they love. So we're always gonna be stronger than this. Those with above ground say they are taking extra steps to try and prevent this from happening again. LGBTQ experts believe a lot of the anti-trans legislation happening across the country right now likely contributes to, to these messages.